Yo, 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 what's good? My name is Gustav Spielt. You are on my channel and today I have another banging video for you guys. If you're wondering who's this handsome lad to my left, that is Diaz Bivel. So I'm pretty sure I just really butchered his name, but if you clicked on this video, I'm more than sure that you know who he is. Maybe you're not totally familiar with his face, but that is due because he does actually not use a webcam, which for me is a little bit odd because he's under the 0.1% of top players. He has his own YouTube channel, posts regular content. So he definitely wants the hype and the fame, but yeah, he does not really put a name to it. Again, not a big deal, but especially if he's in the business of growing his channel and growing his community, I think putting a face to it makes it a little bit more personal if we look at all the big streamers, all the big Warzone YouTubers, they all have a face cam or at least a hand cam. I understand if he maybe does not want to show his face, but uh, yeah, I think that would give it a little bit of a personal touch to his content. So yeah, DS Bivol, if you're watching this, get a webcam. <laughs> also on a side note, especially people like me that review other streamers, other content creators, uh, we really appreciate a uh, webcam. It can be on your face, it can be a hand cam, maybe just a screen cam, but it gives us sort of a different angle. We can see where you look and that definitely helps us to also investigate a little bit more if you're cheating, if you're maybe wondering with your eyes all the time to the right, where maybe that could be a radar or something, uh, helps us out a little bit. Now that being said, uh, a webcam does not prove shit, but it can just help us to uh, eliminate a few different options. Well, folks, this by far has been the longest intro. Really just felt like I had to get that shit out of my system. Anyways, getting to the juicy content of this video, let's look at Diaz Biffel. As in my previous videos, we're gonna sort of have the same structure. We're gonna start by looking at a few comments from our recent videos. Then we're gonna be looking at, of course, the hacks. We're gonna go over aimbot, walls, radar, reverse boosting, and last but not least, the overall impression what his gameplay sort of tells me. For all these separate sections, I'm gonna have the timestamps right here. So you can simply scroll to whichever topic you are most interested in. So yeah, let's get into it. Concerning comments, we're gonna keep it sweet and short in this video. We're gonna be looking only at two. And the one I really have to give credits to is a comment by Francesco. He says, bro, you need to do DS Biffle Nuke Squad 2. Um, here's the video. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. And uh, yeah, he gave me the inspiration to do DS Biffle. So again, Francesco, thank you. And uh, yeah, this one is for you. Second comment I would like to go over is one from Pommes General. He's clearly German. And uh, the comment that I would just like to highlight or the part of the comment that I would like to highlight is uh, he called a Z laner cheat laner. I found that extremely creative. It, it stuck for me for the last couple of days. Every time I talk to some other colleagues about cheats and the streamers, what they could be potentially using. Lately, I've been calling Z laner cheat laner. I don't know, it's a great name. I'm not sure if you came up with it, but uh, yeah, I appreciate it. All right, all right. As I promised, I kept the comments short and sweet, and let's actually get into the meat of this video. In front of us right now, we have Open Code Tracker. In my opinion, one of the best websites to just look over the stats, the details, how long people played, and I think it just gives a good first general impression of the player. So as of course you guys know, we're looking at Diaz Biffle from the Nuke Squad. Um, he has currently played 56 days Warzone. Um, over his entire lifetime and is currently holding a 6.17 KD, which means that he's under the top 0.2% of players worldwide, meaning he's a big dog, meaning he's a big dog. Just sort of for reference, he has a higher KD than Z laner, has a higher KD than Aiden, he has a higher KD than Scump, he has a higher KD than Jowo. I think he has the highest KD of any streamer I reviewed so far on this channel. So yeah, this is gonna be a good one. So before we dive into his gameplay, again, I'm just gonna go through the list what we're looking out for. It's gonna be aimbot, waltz, radar, reverse boosting, and final, the overall impression. Now, one thing I would like to mention right off the bat and that I have sort of with every streamer, and that is I look sort of at their gameplays and how many kills they sort of get on average. You can see that he per week at least gets one game of 30 plus kills, right? 38, 37, 37. It's like three days, one week ago, one week ago, one week ago. So he's always in the 30 plus range. And if we look at streamers that are in the 0.5% of players worldwide from the skill level, strictly talking about KD right now, um, I think everything up to 40 is where you can say, okay, maybe he's legit. Over 40, I will start having a closer eye on the aim, on how they move and sort of their map awareness and where they look while aiming or before aiming or sort of scouting out the map or their surroundings. And before I hear it in the comment sections, I know that he has also a game where he gets one kill, two kills, 10 kills, all right? Not every one of their his games are 30 plus kills, but if somebody drops at least once per week, a 30 plus or 40 bomb, as we can see here, 46, 40, 35, 42, I mean, over the period of what, three weeks he has four or five or six games with 40 plus kills, right? Um, that means that he's consistently bringing out these extremely high kill games. Again, this does not mean anything, but that just triggers a little bit my alarm that I'm a little bit more careful while watching his gameplay and sort of looking out if there are some third-party softwares or hardware being used in his gameplay. Again, it does not mean that he's cheating, nor does it make him sus, 
It just triggers my spidey senses. Now, guys, before I take apart these clips, I would like to let you in on something, and that is that I'm not a big fan of Diaz Biffle. Not in the sense that I don't like him, but I just, well, I, I was not really much aware of his content or of his game style prior to making this video. For this video now, I have consumed four and a half hours of his gameplay, which is pretty much all the gameplay from his recent months. So all the clips you're also going to see are just going to be of his last months, his last uploads. So uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. If you found cheating clips or radar things or whatnot before this month, this will not be included in this video. But yeah, that being said, let's get into it. First thing on the list and also the most controversial is aimbot. And for that, let's take a look at the upcoming clips. There's a whole team up there. Now, this clip did not seem like much, but you're going to see a pattern in just a second, and that is concerning his aim. I will not reveal right away if I believe that he's using aimbot or not, but just please check out the pattern of where he's shooting, which is always going to be center chest. And uh, yeah, I will play this clip in slow-mo as well as a couple of others, and you might get the idea of what I mean with always aiming at center chest. Oh. I feel like the aim was a little bit snappy, nothing super out of the ordinary, but uh, just something to keep in mind. Now let's take a look at the next clip. Where is he? I mean, do you have it on or off? I have it on. Yo, he beat your shit up. So that's the second clip. Let's watch it again in slow motion. And please look at where he hits the people with the shotgun as well as with the MP. Did you see the little bit of sort of correcting in that one guy with the shotgun? Exactly right now, just look at this white circle. I know the quality is not the best, but just sort of look at how the circle right now moves and sort of readjust a little bit towards this guy. Check it out. Did you see that a little bit of a twist? Not saying this is proof that he is using aimbot. Something that tickled me a little bit the wrong way. And now the last guy. I know. Felt like it was a little bit snappy again. Perfect center chest. Let's get to the next one. All right, now I watched this clip like probably like a hundred times. And to be quite honest, it was really fair play. He could see all the players there. He's gonna get killed right by the way, right now by this guy, which will bring me to another point in just a second. But um, he could see all of them on the map. Every time he moved, he could see either a gun sort of showing, a leg hanging out. He knew the position of all of them also when they were downed. It's just, and, and th that is not what I'm talking about, uh, wall hacks or radar. It's just that it is, Again, very snappy. Is it impossible? Absolutely not, okay? I'm just saying it is very snappy. And again, it's just this center chest for me, which is, ah, it's it does not sit well. Again, let's look at it in slow motion. You let me know in the comment section below if it feels a little off. Center chest. He shot through the wall there, but he, he, he saw the other person there. So that is fair play. Like he saw them already in the door right here. He knows right now that somebody's there. You can see multiple dots. So again, this is totally fair play. Um, nothing to talk about there. Like he knows that player are there. He knows where they are standing. Fair play. But just again, let's look at the aim. Just how he snapped from this guy now also to this guy. Just check it out. Center chest, perfect center chest. Now, actually, he slowed this clip down by himself, by the way. This is not me. Like, he literally, in his gameplay, slowed this down. So this is, like, super slow motion right now. Did you see Did you see that snap on that guy? Let's take a look one more time. Again, let me know if what you guys think. But let's, let's check it out one more time here. <laughs> I know, again, let me know in the comment section below what you think. A bit too much. Anyways, this brings us to our next point, which is after he kills this guy, kills the one that's down, fair play. There's this guy. As you heard, he screamed right now, like he's gonna scream again in like two seconds. Oh my god, there's another one, like if he did not know that he was there. Oh 
Now see, he screams, no, there is another one. He clearly did not actually know that there was another guy. Although he only got a triple kit, he's playing against squads, he should have sort of known or seen that probably there's still going to be someone in there. And I'm not sure if you were able to see, but he actually had zero, zero ammo left. Keeping this in mind, he's already one shot. Uh, I don't think he would have pushed through if he would have actually known that somebody is in there. And that brings us to the point wall hacks. I honestly don't believe that he is using wall hacks. I haven't seen any sign that he is using wall hacks. I, actually, the opposite. Um, for example, this situation, he just got a beautiful triple kill. Yes, of course, he was shooting through walls left and right, but it was very much justified. And such a beautiful triple kill as the one right here. Why not go for the squad wipe, right? If you would have wall hacks, if you would have seen him, probably just reload it and then enter the room. So, yeah. I, I truly believe that he's not using wall hacks. Also, just spectating him through the game, he at no point did look sort of make like 360 spins to sort of scan the map or something, or even just slightly just like looking at like different walls just to see if somebody's there. Like I have not witnessed or encountered any of that. If you have, let me know. Maybe send me even better the clip. But uh, so far, I'm pretty convinced that he's not using wall hacks. Like we can definitely scratch that one from the list. Now, the next clip we're going to be analyzing is this one. He knows that enemies are around him, right? He just killed two. Uh, he can't see anything on the radar, nor did he see anyone. You just were able to hear glass breaking, but that was actually not from a person doing it. That was actually the airstrike that just passed by. And now he's just running down this hall, as you're going to be able to see in just a second. And uh, yeah, he just turns at one point, takes out his heartbeat, and right at that point, somebody jumps right in front of him. Let's look at it. Enemy He's almost about to leave. He Great. turns Enemy back. Enemy. Guy jumps down. And to top it off, although he did not shoot er, uh, first. Full plate's almost gone. Oh my. Snap to the head. So let me dive a little bit into this clip and why I think it's a little bit sus, in my opinion. Let's get that puppy into a super slow motion. Again, nothing on the map, right? You can see nothing on there. He killed two over there, so there is no reason why there should be somebody in this building in particular. By the way, I will already let you know what I'm getting at, and that is aimbot and radar. We're currently analyzing aimbot again and radar. Aimbot, we're going to be analyzing, by the way, through all these clips. But right now, we scratched off walls and we're looking for radar. And I think that there is a potential that he could be using radar from examining this clip. The reason why I'm saying it is, again, let's keep watching it. There was nobody on the uh, radar. He just killed two people. That one was over here. The other one was right over there. Uh, he's about to leave, but he stops, reloads, goes back inside. If he has a radar, by the way, let's say if it's center screen or if it's maybe under his screen. We, we don't know if, uh, by the way, he's looking to the left or right. As mentioned before, it's because we don't have a webcam. So we don't actually know where he's looking. But if he would have a radar, it would show a dot right above him. It's like if a red dot would right now be here on this mini-map. So for me, that would be a reason why he would return into this building right now. And he pulls out, of course, the heartbeat. Um, again, if he has a radar, he has to sort of... I'm just saying if. It's a perfect excuse, as always, to pop a UAV or to take out your heartbeat and just to double-check if somebody's there. And surprise, surprise, someone jumps down right in front of him at that exact moment. Now, I'm pretty sure he did not expect that again. That again shows that he definitely does not have wall hacks. If not, he would have seen him already before standing up here. But again, there's the potential for radar. And concerning aimbot, this kill right now, how he just saves it, a bit too snappy for my taste. I mean, that is a direct snap to that, as you guys can see. Like, I will go a little bit back, but Jesus, that was a snap. Oh my. Boom. Sticks on the head, does not miss shots. Headshot. Easy. Another sort of too good aim moment was right now here. Yep. Um, as you can, I, I will not put this one yeah. slow motion, but just, I just double check it. Down, down, down two down people down. right there, not saying nothing against that. Kills him also. Again, just realize how he always aims center chest. However, the point why I'm also showing you this video is the following, and that is a comment that his teammate makes, and that is about him having a little bit too much awareness. And I just found it a little bit strange that even his teammate, be it in a joking manner or not, sort of calls this out. Listen to what he had to say. There was a guy hanging in the storm. I don't know. I feel like he always just knows where everybody's at. Yes, you know? closing. Get to the new yeah. right. I mean, I, I just saw it, you know. Did you hear that? I, I just saw it, you know. The storm. 
I don't know. I just feel like D always knows where everybody's at. That's what his teammate says, if you couldn't hear that. There was a guy hanging in the storm. Right. I don't know. I feel like D always just knows where everybody's at, you know? Fair point. Again, this is no proof. So in the comment section, keep it easy. I'm not saying that this is proof. Just, it's a it's an interesting comment. I mean, I, mean, I, I just saw it, you know? Now, in this clip, I'm not saying this is aim, but it's just, again, the aim, it's, it's ridiculous. If this is really his aim, the props to him, I mean, he is a phenomenal player, so I'm not saying it's not. But this is 114 meters, all right? You can not see anyone right now on the screen. Like, I don't know if he's playing in 4K, we don't know, because, well, he never closed the screen. But, uh, yeah, this is a 100-plus meter kill right there. Or two. Another sauce clip, in my opinion, is this one. Just how quickly... His gun snaps to the enemy's head. Now this sort of out of the way, this brings us to the last clip we're gonna be analyzing right now. What we could definitely scratch from the paper, from our list is wall hacks. He definitely does not have wall hacks. That is from the four and a half hours of his sort of gameplay that I've seen so far, there it has been no sign of wall hacks. I'm not sure if he used previously, but so far as I can tell, he's not been using. Now, however, the things that are still in question are gonna be aimbot and radar. Again, one clip sort of had me a little bit thinking if he's using a radar. Now concerning aimbot, listen guys, I know this is a subjective thing, all right? But especially when I look at other screamers, like for example, Shroud, Scump, even Nick Merckx, all right? These people have so little amount of sus moments, okay? Everybody can sometimes have impeccable aim where they just don't miss a bullet. And sure, the more you play, the more experience you have, the better your aim is gonna get. However, even if you play 20 hours a day, if somebody is lagging, if you are lagging, if you don't have your 20 ping, your aim is going to change and you're going to miss bullets. And if you have too many clips that are extremely sus, very snappy, especially on controller to make these fast movements, it raises questions. But that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the last clip. I would like for all of you to pay extreme attention to this clip. Just analyze this gameplay. And uh, especially, I'm not just saying about aimbot or radar. Just look at his overall game style of his, how he plays and how he communicates with his team. Because regardless if he's cheating or not, he is definitely doing something that I think is quite remarkable and something that just screams out professional. And that is his callouts. Now, I am aware that he plays with this nuke squad, okay? So they are very familiar with each other and with their callouts. But this is how callouts should be. This is how callouts are also in Warzone tournaments. Such callouts you will never find under Aiden's Z laners. Joe Wolf's videos ever. They have the worst call outs. Also, when he, for example, splits, he splits with other teammates. He does not go alone. They have really good call outs. Let me show you an example. I'm not, listen, okay, we're splitting, I didn't? I, didn't, I didn't know that he They're splitting, far. but they're staying together. Okay, well, I mean. This is vastly different than what Z-Laner just does with Huskers, for example, that like everybody just drops on other sides of the maps and then all of a sudden all of them get 50 kills. Very different. Hey, but let's get back to the callouts and just listen to how they approach the situation in final circle. Scanning, nothing. I think they might have came at the mount. I think they might be in this yeah, building right here. There's a team of four, bro. They're not in there. I slow it down. There's four, dude. Like, they're, we're going to do pop up and just going to fucking light us up for the mark. He just oh, snapped back grenade. Oh, dude. 49 meters. 49. Yeah, straight over here. In the little, this little trailer, little hut, whatever. One in front of me or this one? This house. Oh, there's a house, actually. White house. White building, white building. Yeah, but okay. I feel like there's going to be a guy under me. Yes, crouching or something. Any bullets? You seem to bump. He had to have gone right, bro. I he had, had to have gone right. I, 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 I just did it. Oh, let's all the way to the ground. Right here. Kill the team, kill the team, kill the team. Down two. I don't see this idea. No, there's just a win. Just win, just win. It was, they, they, this is both teams. You were looking for the team that you guys were first fighting, and then... No. I knew there was going to be a guy camping the crouch, dude. I just knew it. He really did know it. He called it out. Listen. Yeah, but I feel like there's going to be a guy under me yes, in, crouching or something. So yeah, just sort of to review. Great callouts, honestly. This is, these are, in my opinion, professional callouts. This is what I expect from a professional team. Now that definitely shows me with no doubt in my mind, be it KD or whatever stats, it just shows me that these guys are professional, they're good players and they know what they're doing. However, that does not eliminate the question of aimbot and radar. Concerning radar, I don't know, but I have a strong feeling that he has a tiny bit more game knowledge than he should have. Due to the fact that he many times makes suspicious callouts, he seems always to be very well positioned. And finally, simply by the clips we just analyzed, for example, he just entered this building. Why should there be some Somebody crouched underneath him okay i don't know maybe he has great intuition or maybe it's something else concerning aimbot make up your own mind i have to be honest i have not seen enough to definitely say that he uses an aimbot does he in certain situation a toggle aimbot on 
could be. Now, without boring you too much with stats, let's look at the last point on our list, which is reverse boosting. Is he reverse boosting? We can see that I have his profile up right now here on Warzone stats. Let us look at one of his higher kill games from his last couple of days. That is a 22 kill game. Uh, his team KD is 4.8. The KDs that he plays on average was is 1.4. So I always say, folks, if somebody has a KD above 4, the KD of or the average KD of teams should not be lower than 0.9. Then it starts to get a little bit sus. We can see that the average KD of the other teams that he's playing against is 1.4. That is more than in the normal. I just don't see that he's reverse boosting. I haven't analyzed the big games where he gets 40 plus kills. But as of what I can tell so far from also the other games that are currently listed here on Warzone stats, the average team KD is always above 1, um, 1 1.3, 1.2, 1.3, 1.3 almost um, seems very natural. And for me, that shows me that, um, that at least during the last weekend, so he has not been cheating here. He got 23 kills, 29 in a 1.3 lobby, 1.3. Very decent lobbies. Very normal average KD for the KD that he also brings to the table. So people, I hope that you enjoyed this video. This has been my input on this handsome lad to my left right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. Again, just to sum up, aimbot can be disputed. Very sticky aim. We have to agree that some situations he might have toggled something on. Maybe not. I'll let you fight it out in the comments. I do, however, believe that he is using a radar. That's my take on Diaz Biffle. Thanks for watching. See you next week.